Well, 2018 is shaping up to be a great year for the US economy, thanks to the new administration's tax cuts earlier this year and cheap money policies of recent years. US is likely to post really good growth in 2018. So much so that it has encouraged the Federal Reserve to carry on raising US interest rates. In June, they hit 2%. They're up from a quarter of a percent three years ago. And there's every indication from the Federal Reserve that US interest rates are gonna carry on rising. Not only that, Quantitative easing, the process that took place in the immediate aftermath of the financial crisis, whereby the Federal Reserve injected liquidity into the system by buying assets, the Fed is unwinding that quantitative easing. Now just think about this, the aim of quantitative easing and cheap money was to put money into the system and increase confidence, boost growth and raise asset prices. Unwinding those policies implies that you will see a reverse effect. Now, a previous Fed chairman, um, Janet Yellen, said she hoped that um, the unwinding of quantitative easing um, would be about as exciting as watching paint dry. Now, the fact is that the Federal Reserve is going slow in raising interest rates, but markets are noticing, and who can blame them? Um, bond yields in the United States have been rising as well, signaling that the market is cottoned on to the fact that the era of very, very cheap money is coming to an end. The big question is what effect does this have in time on asset prices, on liquidity, confidence and of course growth. This is a huge experiment. The unwinding of QE is a huge experiment in the same way that uh, rolling it out 10 years ago is a big experiment. It has unpredictable effects and certainly we're going to be watching very closely to see how it pans out.